Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our first cal, which is the Airy Jania shawl. So this is a free pattern available on Ravelry. Uh, the designer Silky Terhurst, I better put my glasses on. Silky Terhurst has agreed that we can do the crochet along tutorial for her, for us really, but using her pattern. What I really like about it is obviously the pattern, but it also, it has the written instructions and photos for the tricky bits and more photos for the tricky bits. And it also has charts. So there's a chart for the shawl that repeats and there is a chart for the edging at the bottom. So I really like that. It's free. I'll put the links of where to download it. Um, so this is just basically what you're going to need to get started. We are going to put out a new part of it uh, every Friday for until we're finished, basically. So uh, this week we're getting started, the list of what you're going to need. And next week we're going to start the first triangle and then the second color change and the third and then the trim. So it'll be five in total, five uh, crochet along episodes, including this one, which kind of doesn't count. It's just to get you ready to go shopping. And you'll also have something to do every weekend. Okay, so she used um, a 4.5 millimeter hook and oh, a sport weight yarn. I think it's about a two. Oh, sport weight. I, um, anyway, she used 750 meters and she, it was 50% cotton, 50% acrylic and 360 meters per 100 grams. So kind of figure that out. She used 750 meters altogether with a four and a half millimeter hook. Um, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can use whatever yarn you have going on. You might just make more, more um, sections or less sections depending on your yarn. So what else are you going to need? Oh, another tip. I'll put the proper picture over there and I'll even move. <laughs> uh, what she suggests for when you're doing your yarn, if you are using uh, those color changing cakes that go from dark to light or light to dark, those are suggested because it's easier, you don't have to change your yarn color. Um, my ladies and I are doing, we're changing our own color. It's not the end of the world. So what we're gonna do is on the sections, we are gonna change our color. So you're gonna have four colors, one, two, three, and then the trim, four. And for the trim, you, it's gonna be about one third of the quantity of your yarn. As the shawl gets progressively bigger, you will be using more and more yarn of that color if you're changing colors. You don't have to change colors. I've seen really pretty ones where it's all one color and then just the trim is a different color or all one color together or the variega variegated uh, ombre effect. Uh, this, I did a little sample last night. It's wrong, I did it wrong. <laughs> but it was just to get the measurement right. I used a five millimeter hook and size three natural cotton. And from one color, oops, put the ball. From one, one section is nine inches. So nine inches times four sections gives you a ballpark of how wide it will be from your neck to your arm. Because I was a bit worried. I'm like, maybe it'll be too big, da da da. And I used a five millimeter. I might even use a five and a half. But um, anyway, that was just to make, just, you know, to check the size. So this is getting frogged. Fret not. We will be starting together. The colorway I am doing, well, let me get that sorted out. The colorway is, I'm going to start at the top with the, with the darker brown. 
then do the natural, then go into the peach, and for the trim, I'm going to do this awesome coral color. So I thought that will be like super swishy and great. Uh, I'm still, I haven't totally decided. But generally, your first color, one ball, 100 grams. Your second color, estimating, two balls. Then three balls for your third color and four for your trim. So you can see if you're changing colors, you're going to need more yarn as you progress on your shawl. Um, so that's what I have gotten planned so far. But living here, it might change. I don't know. I have a whole week to fluff and change my colors. But so far, this is what I love. My other ladies are doing it with the bamboo, which is up there. They have theirs all sequestered off from golden, uh, like a harvest gold, to a natural beige, to like charcoal -y gray. So that's kind of the colorways they've chosen. One's putting in a really nice blue. That'd be really cool. So just keep in mind when you're yarn shopping, more for your trim, if you're changing colors of course, more for your trim, less for your first color, and we can just do this together. So that's what we have going on. Download the pattern. All the details are still in there. Um, we're going to be going through and using the chart together and reading the pattern. So if you're good at reading charts, we'll help you read the patterns. If you're good at um, reading patterns, we'll help you figure out the charts. So hopefully by the end of this, it'll just kind of be, you'll have a bit of reference to how to use charts. And I'll make it easy for you. I <laughs> hope. Um, anyway, really great pattern. Super excited. We start next Friday. So pick your yarn. Either bust it from your stash or go find something fabulous and new. Use whatever hook size goes along with your yarn. Can't wait. We start Friday. So have a great weekend. Happy shopping and stay hooked. <laughs>